everyone and welcome to potentially the final home day match day vlog on the channel this could be the final one pretty much what i said unless we do finish in the top six and get to the playoffs in which case we will have one more game but we're going to treat it like today's potentially the last day a game of stakes today charlton versus blackburn rovers probably lee Bowyer's toughest game that he's had so far in charge of charlton blackburn rovers could win the title today or they could mathematically keep themselves in the title race today it's between them and wigan up at the top and uh, so they've got a lot to play for obviously we've got so much to play for and a lot of other results as well are going to influence just basically how us and all the Charlton fans feel at the end of today. Also Johnny Jackson as well, it's going to be his last game, I don't even know if you knew this, yeah. at the Valley, oh you did know this, okay. So yeah, Johnny Jackson could be his last game playing as a Charlton player at the Valley, maybe one last uh, rendition of Johnny Jackson running down the wing for me. So, I would like you now to read me live on the vlog the lineup because I actually don't okay, know. Okay, don't look then. Okay, I'm not looking. Ben Amos. In goal, I imagine. Yeah. Uh, Lewis Page. Left back. Kashi, that is him. Kashi, midfield, okay. Patrick Bauer. Okay. Pierce. Decent. Mark Marshall. Starting? Yeah. Okay. Uh, a Jose. Oh, he scored at Portsmouth, didn't he? Yeah, he did. But you've been wanting him to do for ages. Yeah, he needs to score again today, please, Nicky. Uh, McGuinness. Okay. Reeves. Right. Conza. Right. Forster Kasky. Right. So, potentially, Conza right back. Hang on a minute. No Kai Kai, no Fosu, and no Mavadidi. What about the bench, Risha? Uh, Phillips, Johnny Jackson, Mavadidi, Aribo, De Silva, Harry Lennon, and Michael Zyro. Okay, that's that's not bad. So we're obviously missing Fosu, we're missing Kai Kai, and we're missing Mavadidi from the starting lineup, but he is on the bench. So, I don't know, that's not bad. I'm, I, I'm trying to think of who's playing right back. I think it's Konza. I don't know, either way, should we just get to the Valley, I think, and see how the team line up on the field and absorb this last match day atmosphere, potentially, because we don't know if we're going to come back for the playoff semi-finals. I bloody hope we do. But let's get to the Valley. Risha, I need your final home score prediction of the season oh. of the 46 game season i am gonna say all right okay i've got two you can't have two i have two no you can't have two you have to go you no, have to I go have two. No, okay no, no. let me tell you them what i think them both are all right we have to go over your heart okay so i think either a three two three two that's a big scoring game yeah two Charlton. yeah or two nil to Charlton. okay wow Interesting. You know Blackburn are a bloody good team. Yeah, but um, you have to be hopeful. I'm going to go. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go for the 1-0 Charlton, Johnny Jackson last minute header. It's just not going to happen, is it? If it did, I would probably wee myself in front of everyone. And I wouldn't mind because Johnny Jackson would have won us the game. Probably got us the playoffs. So I would be quite happy with that. We've both got a little bit of optimism running through our veins. But let's stop talking. Let's get to what you want to see and what we want to see, which is the game today. Come on, you Reds. Charlton's yeah. stand, stadium, sorry. Yeah. Can fit 20, I think, 7,500 people. Yeah. It won't be 27,500 or whatever. I think. But what do you think? 18.75. 18.75,000. Yep. Decent. You? Going for um, 17,000 people today, hopefully. Nice. Uh It's a very busy place. Rishi, you get anything to eat? No. No, just straight up, yeah? I can smell the rest of the potatoes. I can smell three points for Cholton in the air. <laughs> Something in the air, can you feel it? Right. To be fair, the Blackburn fans look like they're ready to throw a, uh, a, an automatic promotion slash league winning title uh, party. They've just launched stuff on the uh, on the pitch, sort of towards the ground, the ground staff. But if they get a goal today, the fans are going to be really, really good for them. We need to be behind the boys just as much today. It's decent. You know, the East Stand's filled up more than it normally does. I'd say we're probably a little bit off in the 17,000, maybe more like 15, 16. Still, it's, it's more than most of the season and it's, and it's, a, it's a good number.
it's 1 0 to Chowan. There we go, I think about 20 minutes played. That came out of nowhere. What a way to go off in the lead. 1 0 Chowan. Mark Marshall coming over now, talking to Lee Bayer about something. But who cares? Listen to that. that half time that was a really really good performance from the boys in that first half really dug their heels in really really closing down sharply just putting an absolute shift in every single one of those 11 players from the goalkeeper right up to Josh and Nicky up top Risha is a complete nervous wreck next to me every time Blackburn have got the ball she's going no 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 and I don't blame her because it's a very tense atmosphere another 45 to play so very content with the performance it was a bit, a bit fortunate about our goal but if we can hold on to this and go into the playoffs knowing that we can beat the but one of two, one of the two best teams in the league in Blackburn, Wigan, I would say. Then that's going to do us a world of good in that playoff semi-final slash final. Um, yeah, really pleased at the moment. One nil, Charlton. Just hold on to it, please. My stomach feels like it's in a knot. Really? Who played the best in that half, Charlton? Mark Marshall, or actually Ben Reeves too, but I think Mark Marshall. Yeah. He, he just always puts in so much effort. Yeah. And I, I just... Yeah. Agreed. Sorry, sir. Lewis Page, who has had so many injury problems with us, coming back in great form, has now gone off on a stretcher, so that could be a really bad injury. Kind of good that it's happened towards the end of the season, so he's got recovery time, but Jada Silva comes on now.
Home Rovers, the potential champions of this league, now probably going to finish runners-up, but what a performance. You cannot ask any more from a football team than what we have seen from our Cholton boys today. That was an incredible performance, 1-0. Oh, more to follow. What a game, Risha, eh? Yeah. What do you think about that? I don't know, I was very nervous the whole way through. Yeah, but we ended up winning. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, but unfortunately it did go, oh, classic starting off with a negative, but it did go the opposite way of how we needed to in terms of Scunthorpe and Plymouth's game, because they both won. Because if we had won today, and I think if Plymouth had drawn or lost, Pretty sure that would have meant that we were mathematically in the top six. As it is though, we go into... How about that you just focus on Charlton Griffin? Yeah, I'm going to now, okay. As it is, we go into the Rochdale game uh, with everything to play for. And, and then guys, my camera battery died. So all I was saying at the end there was that we go into that Rochdale game with it all to play for still. We've got to see how the result between Scunthorpe and Plymouth goes tomorrow night, I believe. That's going to be a really important game and I think everyone will be rooting for Scunthorpe and hoping that they just put Plymouth out of the picture a bit so we can go into that game against Rochdale with a little bit less pressure on ourselves but it was also a really really emotional fantastic speech from such a great servant of the club in Johnny Jackson I think eight years at the club and obviously he's going to continue to uh, work behind the scenes with the management and coaching and that kind of thing so that's really good really really good send off for him and especially to cap it off with that win against Blackburn but Honestly, like I said, winning that game against Blackburn, who are pretty much the best team in the league along with Wigan, is going to give us so much confidence in a playoff semi-final and in the final as well. We, we know we can beat any team in this league now, even probably Wigan if we were given the uh, revitalised game again under Boja. But there we go. We're going to probably have either Scunthorpe, Rotherham or Shrewsbury at some point to play. Probably two of those if we get to the final, obviously. But let me know down in the comments who you would prefer to play in the semi-final and then the final out of those three teams. And we'll actually, you know what, we'll include Plymouth in that equation as well because they could get their head of Scunthorpe. So Plymouth, Scunthorpe, Shrewsbury and Rotherham. Who do you want in the semis and who do you want at Wembley in the final? Let me know down in the comments below. Make sure you leave a like on the video. Make sure you stay subscribed as well and I'll see you in the next one. Take care everyone and sweet.